Hello viewers, we'll be going over the S&P 500 ETF ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So back to the technical analysis, today we're up 2.9% on the 1R chart, we're currently overbought on the 1R RSI. And if we extend that further on to the 4-hour chart, we are also overbought on the RSI as well. And we're still on positive territory on the 4-hour MACD. If we extend that onto the daily chart, we just reach overbought RSI. And the daily MACD is in still healthy uptrend condition. So at the moment, we are encountering somewhat of a minor resistance. We see previous resistance in the past and also possible support in the past at around a price of $322. So we also had past resistance that dated back to December 27th of last year and support that was in January 29th of this year. So that again, that price is roughly around $322. So if we do manage to climb higher to hit that resistance level, that is only within a few percentage, or I should say 40 basis points to the upside. If we do manage to climb higher than the expected resistance, I do see a next possible resistance level being around a price of $330. That we had previous resistance at that range around January 21st of this year and if we do manage to climb higher to that level that price movement to the upside is roughly around three percent and if we were to reverse lower and I do see a possible support being around a price where we have the nine day moving average this blue line and we do have a gap gap up between that level from June 20 June 2nd to June 3rd there was a gap up, so we may need to fill it if we were to have a healthy uptrend. So at the moment, we do see a possible support around a price of $306. And if we were to move down lower, that price movement to the downside is roughly around 4%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model for the S&P 500. So again, these models are now available in the link description. So if, as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 25% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between 0 to negative 1.4%. And on the extreme case, we have a 50% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between negative 1.4% to negative 2.8%. If we were to fall further on the extreme case, we have a 25% chance for the S&P 500 to fall between negative 2 0.8% to negative 5.3%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day forecast for the S&P 500. So we have one day out that will be a Monday and two days out will be a Tuesday and three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally the model that is best matched to the current trend. So the blue line is our current trend and overlapping it is the trend that I believe is the best match. So again, this is our current trend we're in, and the trend in the past dates back to June 22nd to September 16, 2009. So let's begin comparing the two charts. So on the current trend, we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We average above the middle Bollinger Band, revert back to the middle Bollinger Bands, and then touch the upper bands towards the very end. So we have a similar trend here as well. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, average above the middle Bollinger Band, revert back to the middle bands, and then right towards the very end, we touch the upper Bollinger Band. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five points. We also have one, two, three, four, five points on the current trend. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly same. So the model that we just examined again was June 22nd to September 16th. 2009, back then the S&P 500 was down roughly around 2.7%. So if we examine the day-by-day -day probability model, 2.7% .7 
coincides with this standard deviation of 50% chance between negative 1.4% to negative 2.8% in the next coming days. So let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So on the current trend that we're in, we're only 0% away from a monthly high, we're up 30% from monthly low, up 4.6% from 10 simple moving average, up 7% from 20 simple moving average, and up 13% from 50 day simple moving average. So now the trend that we just examined back then, it was 0% away from monthly high, up 18% from monthly low, up 3.5% from 10 simple moving average, up 4.2% from 20 simple moving average and up 8% from 50 day simple moving average. So among the two trends, there are technical similarities. So again, and these models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoy this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.